Hello everyone, welcome to Speedlab Garage. Uh, today we are uh, scanning the car again. Uh, we did a quick test for a few days ago. Uh, it didn't really go well. Uh, the high res mode on the aim scan was way too, uh, way too high. Um, we ha I mean, even if, if we scan the car in, in the high res mode, we need to uh, align and, and merge all the scans afterwards. And even though we are, are on a pretty uh, powerful workstation. Uh, it, it was uh, really troublesome to work with the files. So today I'm testing two things. Uh, first, uh, I'm testing to, to scan in a low res mode because I think that's uh, good enough for, for the uh, general general 3D model of the of the Corvette um, that we need. Uh, and then I'm also going to to, to overlap a lot more. Uh, when I scan, because uh, Mesh Lab uh, that I'm using to, to align the, the models uh, did have some problems uh, processing the, the, the meshes and, and uh, auto, uh, well, auto, auto process them. Aligning them worked fine, but uh, well, you need some help to clean out some double triangles and stuff like that, and, and that was uh, didn't work too good uh, with the amount of overlapping that we did. Uh, yeah, so let's get started. Right, so what we're going to start with is, uh, uh, or what I have started with already actually, is to scan uh, only the, the, this corner uh, of the car. Um, last time we scanned the whole rear, uh, rear left side of the car and we have scanned the, uh, the rear end of the car. Uh, and we overlapped roughly five centimeters on, on, uh, on each side. Uh, but that was too uh, too little to to uh, get mesh lab uh, to auto process the files. So what, what I did now is that I've, I've scanned one part that is covering whole the, this area kind of, uh, and it looks like this. Uh, so my first attempt will be to uh, actually use this uh, mesh as an overlapping mesh. So I will try to align the, the, the complete side scan we did last time, align that one with this one and take the new mesh containing the side and this part and uh, align that one with the, with the end part that we did last time. We'll see if that works. Another thing that we experienced was that uh, the really flat uh, surfaces is, is the hardest one to, to scan. The, the scanner is uh, losing uh, losing the tracking uh, when when it doesn't have any any lines to, to follow. Those lines work great as guides, but as soon as we arrive to, to these areas, uh, it tend to uh, lose tracking. Um, there is a mode with the scanner called uh, HD mode, uh, where it uses these reflective dots as tracking. But to use that for the car, we we, we would need to place those on a okay, kind of twice as dense as we've done here. That's a lot of work uh, and it's uh, it's really, uh, we don't think it's needed. So hopefully <laughs> uh, those small um, foam um, blocks uh, will help with the, with the tracking and uh, they are uh, really easy to remove afterwards uh, since they will be visible in the, in the mesh. Uh, you can actually see the mesh here that yeah they are visible uh, in the mesh, uh, but it's uh, like a five second work to to remove them and uh, and uh, cover up that mesh. Right, so I will uh, continue to uh, to scan. We'll see how it how it goes. All right, so we've uh, I've tested some uh, more scanning here. Um, it looks like those small plastic uh, cubes actually helps a lot with the tracking. Uh, so I've now scanned uh, this uh, rear part of the car in the lower S mode. Uh, it looks looks really good. Uh, what's up? And what I've done now is that I have scanned uh, this particular snap uh, in a uh, high-res mode uh, with so the uh, idea is that we can scan 
parts of the car uh, later in a high res mode and uh, merge them and automatically align them with the low low uh, low res uh, body scan. Uh, the, the white powder you see is a magical spray. Uh, it's called um, yeah, cyclododecan. Uh, it's like uh, snow, <laughs> powder snow. And the good thing with this is that it actually disappears uh, by itself. So what you see here on the on the windshield is actually what's the remains of, of the spray. Uh, which we sprayed on for two days ago uh, but uh, at that point the whole windshield was kind of covered in white also uh, the rear lights was totally white so it it's, uh, dissolves uh, itself uh, in there so pretty nice neat way of, of uh, getting things scannable so right now it's time to head home and uh, try to merge all these scans this is the high res, uh, high res scan of the snap. All right, so that's it for now. Uh, more parts of the car is is uh, scanned, so now I'm heading home, uh, and I will try to align and, and uh, merge them in uh, um, in um, Mesh Lab is the name of the software. So we'll see how that how, how that goes and. Uh, yeah, subscribe and follow us if you want more updates regarding scanning. Uh, we're also uh, continuing to working with the, the 3D printing of uh, the rear wing of the car that will sit here on the car. Alright, uh, thanks for today. Bye bye.